Let's head north from here, uh, there. Many Waitara residents were still without power, are still without power, and now have no running water in some cases as Taranaki continues to struggle with the aftermath of Cyclone Gita. A state of emergency remains in place in New Plymouth where a boil water notice has been issued. Water tankers deployed and many businesses and most schools still closed. Our Taranaki reporter Robin Martin has more. That's the sound of water flowing from an emergency tanker stationed at the Waitara War Memorial Hall. A steady stream of locals has been lining up for water after waking up to find their taps had run dry. Similar scenes are playing out around the district. Monica Crean is facing a double whammy. Yeah, so what's the situation at your place? Well, I've had no power for 43 hours and the water went out this morning and we've only got a small amount for all my cattle, horses and stock, so yeah, fun. Ms Crean has already had to take drastic action with the contents of one freezer, another is packed with bags of ice. So my freezers are gone, all my meat and my freezers are gone, which is okay, so the insurance will cover that. Um, but yeah, big clean up got no water to clean out the freezers so just a big hole with heaps of all my uh, what is it, home kill and stuff. Ms Green says if the power doesn't come back on soon she'll have to bury the rest of her home kill. Near neighbour Sylvia Gus is in a similar boat. Still got no power, no water so hence no shower. Um, I've just been off to deliver a whole freezer load of food that was starting to thaw off to my friend's place who has power, but she's out in the country, but probably on different lines. Miss Ghost says the whole experience has been unsettling. It is actually quite stressing, because <laughs> um, you don't realise until actually a disaster happens that what you miss is the power and the water is the most essential things to keep everything running. Back at the water tanker, Shelton Healy is glad he left emergency planning to the wife. Yeah, everything was pretty good until we had to get up and... Uh get organised for a shower and then sort of found out the real inconvenience or problems that we're facing but very lucky the wife organised the emergency kit and put a fair amount of water in, the, in our containers. At the Waitara New World, where busker Stanley Harawini and lucky George Watson are keeping the spirits up, it's fizzy water or nothing. The owner, John Williams, says water has been flying off the shelves and that's not all. People have been buying it, we're waiting for more to come in this morning. We promised a truckload at 11 o'clock, not here yet, 10 to 12, so it shouldn't be too far away. So. How, are the, how does it look in the shelves where the water normally is? Empty. The other thing it's selling a hell of a lot of is wipes, because people are using wipes to wipe dry and clean themselves, so it's not something you never think of. In New Plymouth, the owner of the kitchen table cafe, Pauline Sprague, says businesses have had to be innovative to stay open. We've had to um, bypass the council water, so we need to keep filling up our bottles. So um, my father's got a motor home which carries about 200 litres of water. So I'm taking the water out of there to fill up our water bottle of um, fresh water. People in the district are being asked to use water only for drinking and cooking. So while the good folk of Waitara and other areas make do with wipes for personal hygiene, the burning question is, how did their big city cousins in New Plymouth wash this morning? Well, I did have a quick shower. No, we're not meant to be using the water at the moment. In the shower? I used my shower, but I didn't drink it. In the shower? Same, yeah. use the shower as well. Mm. No problem. We're able to fill the basin and use a hot flannel. We, we keep him over there because Alps keeps the, the flies away from the rest of us. The New Plymouth District Council says it hopes to fix the busted water main by tomorrow afternoon. Lions company Powerco, meanwhile, says about 5,000 people are still without power in Taranaki. It hopes to restore electricity around Waitara tonight. I Taranaki motihotaka o ti ahihahi, ko Robin Martin